Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to correct under eye issues inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. Let's take a look at this original photo. And in a previous video, we used Lightroom in order to correct the under eye issues. But I created this layer for Photoshop so we could compare the two. There are a variety of methods to accomplish this. I'm going to show you the one that I feel works the best and is the most efficient. We are going to use the healing brush in order to correct these issues. In order to access that tool, press J on your keyboard, but be careful. There are a variety of healing tools. If you do not have the healing brush, hold down shift and press J multiple times until you see the band-aid without the square. And the reason I'm selecting the healing brush over, say, the clone stamp is because the clone stamp will simply copy and paste pixels. The healing brush takes it one step further. It copies, it pastes, and then it blends, which is exactly what we want to have happen. Let's press Command or Control Plus on our keyboard in order to zoom in. When using the healing brush, you need to define a source point. You hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click near the area to define that source. Then you simply click and brush over that area. And we're going to reduce the opacity because it's not going to look great at first. But let's do this other side as well by holding down Alt or Option, clicking, and then dragging over the area. Sometimes you need to sample again. So I'm holding down Alt, Option, click, and just kind of brushing over this area. I'm going to zoom out with a Command minus, and it's too smooth for me, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer. Let's take a look at the before and after. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I don't like to remove this completely because it's not going to look natural. It will make the face look flat and it will lose shape, but let's compare the Photoshop and Lightroom results. This is our original photo, and this is with the Lightroom collect corrections using the spot removal tool. And this is with the Photoshop correction using the healing brush. Spot removal and healing brush. I actually prefer the way the healing brush looks in this specific example, but I could have done a better job in Lightroom for sure. And typically I am going to approach this inside of Lightroom because I feel it's a little bit faster even though Photoshop has a little bit more flexibility in this area. And I'm going to soften her skin really quickly just to show you how I would finalize this image. And I'm going to use my retouch close action that I've created to do so. And I simply just want to smooth it out a little bit and then I will reduce the opacity to give it a more natural look. I like to put these adjustments on pretty strong just so I can back them off and make them look a little bit better. I do have this action available on the Flourish Academy website if you're interested, but I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.